everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Mia and today as you can see we have a special guest, this is my mum. Hi. And if you have been a long time subscriber then you will know that my mum has already been on my channel before but it's been a while. So we thought we'd get her back on um, and today as you can see by the title we are going to be doing my mum's makeup, hence why I look a little bit not made up today. Um, and we're going to have the full focus on my mum using all of her makeup. The majority anyway so hopefully you enjoy this video if you do enjoy this video please remember to like subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you miss none of our future videos and without further ado let's get on into it joined me on her channel she wasn't very complimentary about my makeup so we treated me to a new bag of makeup and this is what we're going to use today so as mum said I'm here by the way um so we've got a full bag of mixed brands over here so today for starters we're going to be going in with brows you guys know I always like to go in with brows first so this is what we're using today this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 4.5 so as you, I don't know if you will have seen this already, or will you have seen my haul? I can't remember, but I have got one of these myself, actually. I'm going to be going straight under Mummy's brow. As you can see, Mummy doesn't have a lot of brow hairs, so that's why she does prefer a pencil over a pomade, don't you, Mum? I do. Because it creates more hair-like finish, and also, it just adds a little bit more texture. So just go in very lightly, underneath the brow to start with just to create a little bit of a guideline for shape always be sure to go back in and brush over and then I just start roughly filling it in don't have to be so precise to start with I'm literally just filling 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 that in and I also extend the front of mama's brow because it's quite short so I add a little bit extra product towards the front and once I've done that I start to shape out the top of the brow so the very top of the brow and this is a great coloured pencil, um, I don't know if you will have seen the last pencil we got, we got the Makeup Revolution didn't we mum? We did. And it's very red, that's why I love Benefit pencils. So I've just zoomed in a little little bit, and so if you're looking for a good natural brow coloured product then Benefit is definitely definitely a good one to try. So as you can see I've just created a nice shape and I have followed my mum's natural shape obviously it just tweaked it, elongated it and just basically made it a lot more bold. I'm fluffing up the brows slightly just by going through them like that but I will be adding a texture gel after we do the full face so keep watching for that and then I'm just going to do the other eyebrow. Now we are going in with a trusty favourite of mine, the Tarte Shape Tape, but this is Mum's. This is in a shade lighter than I usually use, so just the shade light. And I'm going to be taking a Molly O'Brien Jim Bob brush and I'm just dipping it into this and I'm just going to be carving these brows out. So going directly under and just giving them a nice carve. And then I'm just going to be patting the rest of the concealer onto the lid. I'm going to be using this as an eye base because Mum has some new eyeshadows that we're going to test out as well. So I'm just creating a little bit of a blank canvas. Just like that. And as you can see it creates a lot more shape and it makes the brow become a lot more defined as well. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. So you can blend it out with any brush at all as long as it's clean and a little bit fluffy. So as you can see I'm just tapping this all the way out making sure everything's nicely blended, we don't want any harsh lines so I mean, just blend, blend, blend it and then we can get straight on into eyeshadow so for eyeshadow, what have we got here mum? we've got um, a new palette from Tarte Tarte, we like it was a bit part of the set yeah, we've got a few bits actually, don't we? yes yeah, so we'll get into that later but let's show them the colour scheme neutrals because that's all I wear really Oh, do you know what? The rose gold like ties in with the dress. Mm -hmm. Love that. Love that. Fabulous. So, what do we feel like dipping into today? Um, just, just, just something very neutral. 
Okay, so let's just have you close your eyes for me, please. Make sure there's no creases on the lid before we apply eyeshadow, as always. Give it an extra tap. We're going into some Doll Beauty brushes today, which Mum wants to steal from me. So I'll give them a little whirl on her eyes, see how she likes them. And we're going to be going into this shade here, bottom shade. Um, and this is a shade Beam. So if you can just hold that for me, please, Mum. So I'm going in with a Doll Beauty DB12. Tapping off. Close. And I'm just going to be lightly patting this on the lid on the outer corner, building up the pigment, very lightly, nothing extreme and really really softly building this in the outer corner then bringing that into the crease very lightly. So we're going to focus on bringing the colour up to the actual brow bone instead of focusing the colour on the lid because obviously she doesn't have a big lid space so we're going to make the eye look bigger by bringing the colour up so as you can see this looks really nice against blue eyes as well and then we're going to go in with a bigger brush a fluffier brush and we're going to go into the shade Stella which is the br the more brown toned shade out of the two and I'm just going to be going in with a DB5 brush nice big blending brush again tapping off and we're just going to be softening these edges out with this shade and making sure that everything is super super blended again just follow the same shape that we've just created as you can see I've done the other eye now and I think we are going to go into this shade here just to really brighten the eye um, couldn't decide if I was going to go with this shimmer or this one um, but this is more of like a pearlescent shade so I think we're going to go into this and we're going to go in with a DB7 brush you can just hold that again please mm -hmm. I'm just going to tap into that and then if you can just close for me and and I'm just going to tap this onto the lid and as I, as I say it's not a full coverage shade however it's just a nice light wash of colour that I just think will brighten the eye and again really give her that open eye effect so there we go so we're going to move straight on into face products so mum would you like to show what we have for face today so I couldn't decide between Bobbi Brown or Charlotte Tilbury for a new foundation but I ended up going for the Charlotte Tilbury so this is the airbrush foundation the airbrush and I also went for the uh, magic powder magic powder to complement mm -hmm. that um, so then we'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape as well yeah so we'll see how that goes mm -hmm. we do have the shade 3 which is called cool that's what it is it's three cool. So this is the packaging. It's really beautiful packaging actually. Um, so I'm going to apply a pump of this. I'm going to add a little bit of my own foundation just because this is slightly light for mum at the moment. She's got a bit of a tan going on. I don't know how because there's not been any sun. So I'm just going to add a little bit of my trusty Maybelline Superstay just literally to add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of extra warmth. So I'm just going to start by dotting a bit on the face just to start with and then I can just use my sponge to pick up any more product that I need. So we're going to go in with a sponge today. Yeah, I tried it. Dabbing a little bit with my sponge, this is a Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to dab, tap, 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 all the way. Tap, tap, tap and as you can see immediately it's already starting to cover mum's redness which is why I really do enjoy using a sponge. You can use a brush of course, but if you want a more... It smells nice. Does it? Mm. Oh yeah, it smells a bit like flowers. So I'm just tap tap tapping this. As you can 
see, foundation is blended. Um, obviously, we're looking a bit crazy, but it's fine. That's always the case, as you guys know. So I just patted that all the way around the face, and it literally, like I say, it only took a pump. That's all we've used, a pump of that foundation and literally like two dots of the Maybelline one and you know we have used every last bit of it but we didn't need any more so it did cover the face very very nicely. Right, we're going to go straight into the concealer and we're going to use of course the Tarte Shape Tape and we're just going to dot a little bit under the eye, mum doesn't usually need as much concealer as me and then we're just going to dot a little bit just to highlight the face. So I'm just going to make sure that's dotted on, there we go, and again we're going to be using the sponge just because I like how that blends on mum's face, so I'm just lightly tapping that in all over the face and I use the flat side for the face areas and then I use the pointed edge for under the eye. Uh, this basically is just going to add any extra coverage that we need. So as you can see, Mom is looking a bit like Crystal the Ghost right now because as I said, it's a great foundation with pale anyway but then so was the concealer and um, it's fine, we're going to bronze them up but what we're going to do first is we are going to be setting the face with the beautiful Charlotte Tilbury powder again, the packaging is unreal you can just look up for me once again I'm taking my Real Techniques contour brush here look straight up and then I'm just going to go straight under the eye and just set Set, set, set. We don't want any creasing. A nice full coverage under eye. And this is a like foundation powder, so it does add more coverage. Actually, this is setting really nice. I've never used this powder before, actually, guys. Um, I know it's a really like hyped about product, but I have never personally used it or like seen it be used in person. But first impressions is that it's great. Foundation I've still not decided on yet. So I will let you know at the end of the video how I'm feeling about it. But I'm basically just making sure that I'm setting pretty much everywhere with mum. Um, majorly where we applied the concealer. They are the major areas that I feel like we need to set. Light dusting around the whole face after I've done this just because I like to make sure that nothing is going to move. Mum can have combo skin so she has dry patches but then she also can have some oily breakthroughs during the day so we want to make sure that none of this makeup is going to slide off. So as I say, I'm going to just go in with a My Kitco My Flat Powder brush and I'm just going to be lightly, lightly dusting the face. Is that a nice brush? That's a lovely brush. I know. Just lightly, lightly tapping the face with this, making sure that everything is nice, nice, nice. Mm. Super nicely set. This has actually already brought a bit more warmth to the face. This is in the shade to medium. This is a really nice shade. Like I say, already brought some warmth back into the face, which is nice. So then we can go in to some contour. So I've just been to get the bronzer. So we're using the Hula bronzer today, which is mum's favorite, isn't it? It is. So we're going to be applying this using a PC15 brush from Peach and Cream. This is one of my favorites. Just dipping into this, swirling round, and we're just gonna do a light contour, nothing too heavy for mum. You don't like anything too heavy, do you? Yeah. No. So you can just turn your face a little bit this way, not that much. There. Just add a little bit of warmth to the face. Really, really, really lightly. I'm just dabbing this on. Really don't want a lot. Sometimes when you add too much product, it can actually make it look worse, can't it? So we want a nice little light. Just a little bit of warmth like that. This is much better than the last bronzer we used in the last video we mm. did. The Bare Minerals one was like orange. Mm. Not good, so we're sticking to the hula, aren't we? We are. Like, it just makes such, such a difference. A little, little bit of bronzer can make the world of difference. So many of the bronzers have that or orange mm. tinge to them. 
See, I don't mind an orange tinge, but Mum does have more cool toned undertones, whereas I have more olive and warm. So I can sort of get away with those orangey undertones, whereas Hula does have that more cool toned, mm. which suits Mum really, really well. So as I say, I'm just dabbing that on super lightly, nothing major at all. Just following the natural shape of Mum's cheekbones. So to be fair, the foundation is holding up um, so far with the products that we're adding on top. Sometimes the foundations can deteriorate underneath when we when you apply powders and stuff like that. So I've got to be honest, it is holding up well so far. So I'm quite impressed because foundations do tend to do that on you, don't they? Yeah. Tend to separate and just not sit very well. So I am rather impressed so far. And then we're gonna go in with some blush. This is the Tarte blush. Why are you looking like that? You wanted the benefit correlation, didn't you? You don't. This will probably go better. Yeah, it will go better. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be using this today. Clearly well loved. This is the Prim Tarte. As you can see, Mum likes a bit of Tarte. And we're going to be using one of my favourite blush brushes ever. This is the DB10 brush. Swirling around in this. Tapping off. And lightly, again, just dabbing this. Bringing it to the apples of the cheeks. And again, this is going to add so much warmth and just tie the whole look together. So, Mum has requested for me to try this, which I don't really, really want to try, but I'll try it for Mum. So, this... It was, oh. part, it was part of the set that I bought. So, this came part of the set, yeah. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand. Okay. And it's like, it's quite full coverage concealer. So, it's just like... It does have that glow, so I'm going to use it and try and make it work. I'm going to use it like this, because it will just work so much better, trust me. So, as you can see, does that, oh actually that adds a really nice glow. But it's best like this, don't apply it off the flipping thing. Sponge. Yeah, no, or off the doe foot. Apply it on the back of your hand. It's quite sticky though, that's my only concern. Is it? Yeah. It's quite sticky. It's a sticky formula. Mm. But don't get me wrong, it is nice. But the only thing that really concerns me is it, like I say, it has quite a full coverage. So it does create a little bit of a cast. However, that adds a really nice glow for Mum. Mum doesn't like a full highlight, do you? No. So for someone that just likes a nice little bit of glow, this is a really nice product. As you can see, look, it has, it has added just that little subtle glow, hasn't it? Do you like that? Yeah. It looks that way. Let me just bring it a little bit more. I can't really see because I've not got my glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? That's enough. Yeah, because you don't want it everywhere either. No. But it is quite a sticky consistency. Hopefully it will dry down. I did bring the highlighter, but I don't think you need it now. No. I really don't. No, that's enough. Yeah, that is enough. But what we are going to do now is just go back into the eyeshadows just to finish the under eye to add a little bit of colour. Go back into that first colour we went into, the dark mauve colour, this one here, I'm going in with a DB14 brush. Tapping into that, if you can just look up for me please. So then, as I said, let's just a light, light dusting. And then I will actually probably take the same brush that we used before the big fluffy brush and just blend that out some brow products to finish we're going to go into this here which is the strawberry sherbet oh that smells lovely it smells oh. beautiful that is lovely oh, spray. so i'm just going to spray the spoolie and give it a nice little swirl so that was the morphe setting spray mm, that smells nice too it does and then all we're going to do is we're just going to run this through the brows 
And this is not only going to set them in place, but it's going to just add a little bit more texture, isn't it? Mum likes this gel, don't I you? I love it. I've seen Mum's not a laminated brow type of girl, so we're not going to do a full laminated look. But we like some texture, don't we? Yeah. Obviously, as we as we saw before, Mum doesn't have a lot of texture to her brows normally, so this gel does really, really help her. And it just makes them look so much more fluffy, and it does make her look like she has more brow hair. It does. It's quite amazing, really. So we added mascara off camera, and then Mum did her own lip liner because she's very fussy. But what did we use today, Mum, for lip liner? We used um, a new MAC pencil, and it's in the colour... Saw. Saw. And then we used the Tarte... What are they called? Lights, camera, lashes, this one. And look how cute it goes with the bag. Hmm? How adorable is that? That so, was all part of the set. Yeah, we used this today, which has worked very well. We're going to apply this lipstick on camera now, which is the... Mare. The shade Mare. Mm -hmm. Mac. And we're just going to apply this. Don't need a lot. So as you can see, this is a really, really nice lipstick and it ties into the whole look, doesn't it? So guys, this is the finished look. As you can see, Mum looks absolutely lovely. So you're welcome. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is a very, very big improvement from last time. <laughs> very much so. Um, I think that you're like well kitted out now, aren't you? I think so, yeah. So, you know, I might have to borrow a few of those things myself. Um, but no, I think she's done really well. She's not really had much input from me. I helped her out with the foundation a bit, with shades and stuff. Um, obviously, we've not had anywhere to go out, so when we ordered this, it was a while ago. It was. Um, and I didn't have any colour on my face. Yeah, it, was no, it wasn't summer, so, you know, shade might be a bit light now, but you're kitted out for winter. I am. So, it's fine. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell to make sure it's none of my future videos. And remember, I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 8.30pm, so be sure to tune in for that. And if you have any more video ideas for me and Mum to do, then leave them down in the comments. Um, obviously, like, I love having Mum on my channel, so I have to push Maybe I'll do you next. Oh, yeah, Mum could do my makeup next, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. We'll have to film that. And if you've reached this point, just keep watching for a few seconds longer because there's going to be some bloopers. <laughs> Very funny bloopers, so definitely keep on watching. But yeah, be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want to see Mum back on my channel. And yeah, I just want to say one big, big thank you to Mum being on the channel is there anything you'd like to say thank you for doing my makeup you are very very welcome mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say one big 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 last thank you to you all for watching and i shall see you all in my next video bye, bye guys, guys. <laughs> and if you do <laughs> take 20 yeah take like 100 Okay. So if you enjoy this video, please. <laughs> but I'm just gonna have to look at myself. Yeah. I'm gonna blank you out. Blank You're not out. there. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Subscribe and hit the bell to make sure. Red. <laughs> it's none of my future videos. <laughs> do it at all. Oh, let's get out into it. What was that? I said let's get into it. Get on into it. Yeah. Let get. Let's get into it. Not on into let's it. Let's get on into it. No. I say that every video. <laughs> Don't. <What was> that? <laughs> Oh, look, you're making me all red and hot. <laughs> you have to just put 